All right, still ahead, relationships can be a lot of work. They should be, right? Especially the longer you and your partner are together. Coming up next, some ways to give your relationship a boost and understand your partner better. Well, it's no surprise, right? Relationships lose the spark over time. It's not uncommon to get into a rut after a few years with the same person. Regardless of the state of your relationship right now, Dr. Alice Fong, who is a naturopathic doctor, joining us on how to give your relationship a little boost. Hey, doctor, so good to see you from California this morning. Thanks for getting up early. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, let's go through some of your ideas. And we say this a lot as far as, you know, like date your mate kind of thing. And you say, take it a little bit more extreme and say, create a sacred weekly date night. Why do you think that's so important? I think it's important because we get so caught up in our day to day busy lives that sometimes we forget to set aside time for our significant other. And so when you create a sacred weekly date night, you set aside a specific time of the week completely dedicated to your partner so you both know and are on the same page and you treat it as important as a work meeting or deadline. It shows that you value your partner and that they're a priority in your life. Yeah, I think some people say, oh, well, that sounds boring. I'm treating it like a, a meeting, but you're saying no. Treat it oh. with what it deserves to be treated as. If you want to spend time with someone, make that a priority. Exactly. Creating that um, date night, then you want to move into talking about, and I think this would work for a lot of people, not just those that are maybe dating or in marriage, understanding mm -hmm. that you both have a different but valid perspective. Talk to me mm -hmm. about that. Yes, we all have different perspectives. Nobody is going to have the same exact perspective 100%. So you have to realize it. And you don't have to necessarily agree with everything your partner says or does. But when you make them wrong for having a certain perspective or opinion, mm. it doesn't usually go well. And it only creates disconnection. So when you take a moment to understand them mm. versus listening to react and respond, it can really dramatically change the outcome of a relationship, especially during challenging times. I like what you said there because that, isn't that, that's so key, listening mm -hmm. to respond only, because if you're only listening to just respond, that is, right. that's a recipe <laughs> for not good, is what I can tell you. Um, I like this yeah. idea about this book club. Tell me about your, your book club idea. Yeah, I had this idea with my, my own partner because we, we both enjoy reading books, especially personal development books. And it was just so opportunity for us to connect. And sometimes it's hard to be in a bigger group book club. So it's just like, okay, let's just create a two-person book club. Yeah. And it, it was really enjoyable as we go through the audiobook together, mm. maybe separately, you know, when he's driving to work or when I'm walking the dogs. But it's it gives us a something to connect mm. over and talk and discuss. And so that's been a really great thing. Another way to connect. Now, we only have a few, like less than a minute left. I know you had two talking points kind of left here. Um, yeah. One of them is acknowledging each other daily. And that would seem obvious, but I guess some people are not doing that. Yeah, you really have to make it a part of your routine. That's what me and my husband have done. It's just made it part of our routine. And it, it helps us feel appreciated and not take each other for granted, especially when it comes to those small mundane things, such as like taking out the trash mm -hmm. or doing the laundry. And you know, what if you people want to take it a step further, what we've done is ask each other, what do you want to be acknowledged for? Mm -hmm. Because then you discover things that they've done that you didn't even realize they did. Oh, that's a good one, too. Hey, we're out of time, but you also wanted to make the point about sharing fears with each other, all of them. So I want to at least be able to mention it because we're out of time. Okay. But I wanted to say thank you, Dr. Yeah. Fong. Um, it's great to just even acknowledge that we need to be paying more attention to of our, you know, our partners. All right, thank you. For more information, you. you can go to fox59.com slash links. And then, Jim, I'm going to add this yeah, into it. it. You've got to have fun. So right. plan Lots fun. Plan fun. Very end of that interview, the song that popped up in my mind yeah. was "What Have You Done for Me Lately." What have you done yeah. for me <laughs> lately? Like, but you know, what have you done not for in a mean lately. way, but yeah. You but know, what have you done for Missy lately? Um, well, I know, I know some things. There's a lot, a lot of uh, work at the house yes, right you now. Yes, care of the I'm house doing. a lot. But I cooked dinner last night, and you know, I get the kids where they need to be. Oh, yeah, I help it. I know you do. It's a, you know, it's a 50-50 uh, partnership. You know, it is. It is. It's a marriage and a partnership.